All new here on the night team tonight, empty pockets and empty stomachs. The pandemic has taken jobs away from millions of people nationwide, including Kentucky, making it harder for families to put food on their tables. Focus investigative reporter John Charlton has the new data to show us what many Kentuckians are doing to get to the meat of the problem. Last spring, shoppers were faced with empty shelves at the meat counter as processors either had to shut down or scale back due to COVID. This fall, more Kentuckians are filling their freezers themselves. On the 65-acre soybean farm, it's that time again to harvest. But Roger LaPointe is out again to pick off something meatier in LaRue County. Early season, we've seen a lot of deer. And he says it appears a bigger herd of hunters. We have seen a lot more traffic, a lot more people hunting. The state numbers prove it. According to the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife Resources, hunting licenses are up about 4% to more than 220,000 licenses. That's a jump of more than 12,500 from last year. Meanwhile, permits to specifically take deer are up three and a half percent with almost an 11,000 permit difference. And uh, the point there's bedding area and thicket has his theories on the rise, what he sees on the horizon and the scope of the interest. I think a lot of people have a lot more time on their hands where they're working from home or they're laid off. Layoffs and unemployment remain at record highs. Low incomes or no incomes make for lean times. So those folks are often forced to trim the fat on spending, including at the meat counter. Basically, people are off work and they don't have the money to buy. But there are plenty of bucks and a lot of dough in the wild to put protein on plates. That will feed your family. You'll, you know, you'll get 40 to 50 pounds of meat off a of medium sized deer. The state estimates there are more than a million deer across Kentucky with 300 to 325,000 deer hunters. When our season came in in September, we were on record pace, uh, record harvest. Gabe Jenkins is the state deer biologist with Fish and Wildlife. COVID kind of reset some things. He says the pandemic made interest in hunting more contagious while resurrecting interest in those who stopped hunting. Do you see this as a, a good theory that maybe more are hunting out of necessity? Definitely some, um, and some just trying to help offset some cost. And, you know, you, you have this free range, organic, you know, fantastic meat resource on the landscape. Makes sense that more hunters would mean more deer shot and harvested. It looked like it was trending that way. We were essentially on record pace. And Kentucky was on target to break last year's total of more than 148,000 deer. But that's that's taken a slight decline. As of Monday, the deer harvest came in at about 127,000. Jenkins blames the weather. Opening weekend, we had gale force, 40 mile an hour winds on Sunday. Um, and then the second Sunday, we had rain and miserable conditions. And when you have bad weather on a weekend, that really knocks down our harvest. Still, Jenkins says it's a great total to help manage the herd and to help minimize destruction to the harvest on farmland. Across this field is about 197 yards. Roger LaPointe knows how much of a hunger there is for meat. I've been the executive director uh, for Hunters for the Hungry for three years. So the 66-year-old takes aim to feed not just he and his family. I've donated a deer to him, a first deer. Uh, probably for the last 14, 15 years. But also for food banks, which he says call all the time. We're getting more and more individuals calling wanting product as well, and what we do is send them to the food banks. And LaPointe hopes to send over more venison. Last year we shot seven. Even though modern gun season is over now, he still has bow and crossbow season, as well as another week for late muzzleloader to help put dinner on the table. It used to be one in seven of, of our population goes to bed hungry every every day, and I'm sure it's more than that now. I think you're going to see a lot more hunting in general. Along with deer hunting licenses, the state says resident licenses for turkey were up as well. Meanwhile, fishing licenses exploded with over 77,000 more than last year. For Focus, I'm John Charlton. Remember, our focus team investigates your tips. If you've got a story that needs looking into, send them an email. The address is focus at whs11.com.